Hello Aquarius, this is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. This reading is for the 29th of November through the 5th of December. You may be watching this video on the 28th. So if you're watching it on the 29th, we have one more day left in this cycle. Yay. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So when the moon moves from Scorpio, for those of you all who like the moon phases, when the moon moves from Scorpio into Sagittarius, you want to start thinking you're going to replace worrying with gratitude. That's right. You've done that deep dive into those unhealthy and wounded emotions surrounding money, who you dated, your relationships, and all of that when the moon was in Scorpio. And it may be still in Scorpio when you watch this video, so you're still doing the flushing of all of that out right? Like a detox, a spiritual detox. Like you're taking a, 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 a deep seep salt bath, right? In your spirit, in the spiritual realm, right? And so you're getting ready to aim high and shoot for the stars. So somebody could be feeling lucky, you know, feeling good after, you know how you feel like after you do a detox, you feel like, okay, you don't want to mess it up. You, you've done some. You've done some things. You're not gossiping. You're not in anything unhealthy and just wounded that could contaminate your spirit. So you feeling like, okay, hmm. Let me let me focus on gratitude. Let me let me switch it all to gratitude. What are you grateful for? Put that list together, right? I'll make sure I give you all some questions by the end of this reading. This is a general reading, Aquarius. So take only what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading. My information is down below, but I don't know if there are any slots available. My calendar is um, pretty busy, so reach out to me directly. My number is in the description. All right, let's get into it. I've already prayed over your cards, already asked source for clarity, and let's do it. This is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. Yep, somebody's trying to stay focused. Focus, 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 focus. All right, somebody's trying to stay focused. There we go. Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords, right? Ace of Cups here. Yeah, so stay focused. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Um, yep, stay focused. Stay focused. Um, Stay focused. It's a lot going on. So make sure you stay focused, right? Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Um, we also have the Nine of Swords here. We also have the Two of Swords here. <clears throat> so you're definitely dealing with some... Um, here we have the Chariot card. Somebody could kind of sort of be at a fork in a road, you know, trying to make some decisions about some things. You know, like, you know, like seeing the dark and light of a situation, kind of sort of feeling some kind of way about some things. Um, somebody that may have said something to you, um, something dark to you, or said something to you that made you stop talking to them. Here we have the Three of Pentacles here. Um, Source is saying something is actually coming to light Something is actually coming to the light um, about some things, Aquarius. The Nine of Swords is like death, like something has ended, like something has ended. Some kind of communication has ended about something having to do with loved ones. We're talking about heart in the heart chakra, right? The heart chakra. And um, so you may have just given something way too much thought. That's what Source is saying. Take your blindfolds off. Take your blindfolds off. Because I see a lot of you all trying to create something new. You're, you have survived a lot of things, possibly behind closed doors. That would be like the Ten of Swords here. Where you've gotten up from a lot of things. You survived a lot of things. And so um, <clears throat> the Ace of Cups is about love, new relationships, compassion, creativity, and so somebody could have been holding in some repressed emotions about some things. Some two people could have been holding in some repressed emotions about something. And um, that something could be coming to light. You know, some people could have been holding in some repressed emotions. And um, 
So, like I said, as you all are making peace with your past around money and relationships and things like that, loved ones could also, like I said before, things floating through the air um, could have also could have caused some kind of repressed emotions about things to come out as well about other people being talked about behind their back about them trying to come out the house and put on a smiley face and, and feeling depressed behind closed doors you know as it relates to things as well so let's see what else we got going on here let's see what else we have going on here feeling like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders here we have the um ten of wands and so as you're trying to rebuild and i see you being booked and busy you know and not burdened you know aquarius other energies floating through the air other conversation very hurtful conversation thing may have been said to people you know about you or you know and people said things to you all of those things you know so as we're closing out the cycle and you're writing down the things that you are replacing any worry with gratitude make sure you're at that particular frequency so when you're at a crossroad right you're feeling some kind of way and you're at a crossroad source is saying to you this is where you have an opportunity to um pour into yourselves in terms of compassion here's the the justice card here where you you're making a decision you're making a decision to kind of sort of really really take the high road you know with something when it comes with two types of energies two types of energies where you're protecting your peace you're protecting your peace this person right here have been talked about behind your back you have put all these swords out of your back right and the same thing here you and somebody have been talked about behind your back a lot of swords have been pulled out you know of your back and that's very painful for people to talk about you talk about your loved ones behind your back um and so, like I said, something is coming to the light. Something is coming to the light where somebody may have felt like they were carrying the weight of the world on their shoulder as a result of something um, that was being talked about behind, about you behind your back. Um, here's the devil card. All right. And so, uh, the devil is always in the details. <clears throat> the devil is always... You know in the details and source is actually rewarding you for taking the high road but um here we have the three of cups here and so again the three of cups um something new is coming to you all aquarius some new information is coming to you about something mm, 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 mm. and so um Something around people either thinking you are depressed or somebody else was depressed or whatever the case may be about something as to why something came to the came to the 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 um, forefront or focus or whatever something that you did not authorize like something that you did not authorize like you may have had a title but you didn't have the authority right so titles could be like um, you have a you weren't aware of something. You may not have been aware of something, right? You may not have been aware that you were being recorded or or people like recorded um, on camera or like a some kind of recording device or some. You may not have been aware of something. Somebody may have felt like they were the weight of the world was on their shoulder about something. So, but so source is saying to you, you're pouring into yourselves a lot of compassion. This is the Queen of Cups here. And, um, but you also have compassion for others, you know, as well, right? Your authenticity is coming through self care, supportive, you know, energies is very kind, you know, very kind, very sensitive, you know, energies to, you know, some things, right? And so I definitely see how this is the Six of Swords. You continue moving on from like, you know, like I said, shady energies. You just continue moving on from shady energies. Like I said, um, you know, those types of energies that try to put you in a situation that was like a bait and switch situation, right? Baited you into, you know, conversations about certain things and then switched up on you. And so um, that's what I'm seeing for you all. Right, and just try to play mind games, try to use somebody else as a chess 
game. Source is saying, yeah, you can get off the fence of overthinking something because somebody definitely tried to bait you into a situation where you would have not, <clears throat> where you would have been, where you were used as a pawn, right? So it's like you and somebody, you and somebody were both used as pawns, right? So that's where the getting off the fence of being indecisive about something um, is coming to like, is coming to an end. That's six and five is 11. 11 is a master number. So it's like you and somebody were both used as a pawn, right? And so whoever was using you and somebody as a pawn for them, it was just black and white. Yeah, for them it was just it was just it was just like basically their way of the highway. So and you you neither one of you all had the authority. Here we have the um eight of swords here. Try to make somebody look like they were crazy. Right, and then talk dark about people. Oh, they oh they crazy, they this and that, you know, so let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Because um, we you see right there, that's the Eight of Swords, like trying to restrict you and someone, like mentally, like trying to restrict your air. Like, you know, so that's where you want to make sure you do the mirror work. That's where you want to make sure you continue doing the mirror work. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Let's see what else we got going on here, Aquarius. Let's see what else we got going on. All right, we got a lot of cards here. Hold on. We're going to try to keep this very short because there's a lot of overthinking here in the cards. Lots and lots and lots of overthinking. Like I said, people basically saying, you know, something that, like I said, is something that happened that you did not authorize. It's like somebody saying, um, send you a picture and you didn't authorize them to do something with it, right? You know, share it, right? Trying to, trying to make you feel powerless, right? Because sword energy goes right to power and intellect like trying to make you feel powerless and trying to make you feel stupid in other words i mean there's no other clear way to say it <clears throat> something that you like i said you did not authorize and basically turn around and trying to play mind games like oh you need your head examined you must be crazy something's wrong with you you know those kind of things and so you need to make a very clear decision um aquarius to not overthink things to not be an overgiver of things. So, um, yeah. Just period. Just in general, not to overthink things. About energies from your past that Source told you to move on from. If Source told you to leave energies in the past, don't overthink it. Leave them in the past. If you're sitting around, wait, if you believe that they are attached to something that was trying to make you look like you were crazy and out of your mind or mentally ill or whatever. If you just simply believe that you are not paranoid, there's something in your, your spirit is say, wait a minute, they're capable of doing something to you like this. And these are talking about loved ones. They are capable of saying they love you, but they're loving you. You loving them has caused you too much pain. Take the blindfolds off. Doesn't matter who it is, Aquarius. It's time for you to say, you know, it's time to create something new. It's time to be grateful that, because you're going to be grateful that the past is behind you and you're going to be start pouring into yourselves more because all of this sword energy right here, think about sword breaking your skin, right? That's blood. That's breaking your skin. Like sword energy would just like make a cut, right? That would break your skin. <clears throat> um, and so source is saying, stay focused. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Somebody was definitely blindsided or felt maybe self felt like they were blindsided by two energies. And the energies that did it to you, somebody is doing it to them. That's the part they never they will never see coming. But something is closed out. You are enforcing boundaries now. You are enforcing boundaries. You are enforcing boundaries. No more overthinking. The overgiving. You, you can still have a big heart, but the keep giving people chance after chance after chance, that Aquarius is gone. You're, you're not that person anymore. When you feel like something or you believe something or you feel like some kind of an injustice was done to you in any way, shape, form, or fashion, you're going to stop yourself and say, okay, Source, I feel like something is off. I believe something. Source is going to tell you, to tell Source, right? show me through my dream. Show me through my dream what I'm not seeing. We were talking about the uh, the moon card, right? 
We know that the cancer is ruled by the moon. Show me in my dream. Show me what kind of injustice was done to me and somebody else through my dream. Because we're talking about two scales here, right? Show me how, what kind of injustice was done to me. I need to see it. I need to see it. Who tried to put you in a David and Goliath situation? Who tried to put somebody else in a David and Goliath situation where they felt like they had the weight of the world on their shoulders? While well, you may have looked at it as like, okay, you're going to go back to being booked and busy. You know, while somebody else could have felt like they had the weight of the world on their shoulders. But there was no conversation going on whatsoever. And that was the, that was the goal for somebody to talk to you some kind of a way disrespectfully for you to stop talking to them that's how they were being used as a pawn in the game that's how somebody was being used as a pawn in the game Aquarius so you need to wake up and use your wisdom start analyzing some things <clears throat> this is like um so this is Pisces this is Virgo right so when you believe something, you're asking source for the physical evidence of something, right? So when the moon moves through Virgo, this is where, again, diet has a whole lot to do with a lot of different things. It has a lot to do with everything, right? It has a lot to do with everything, especially if it's something that's negative, right? If, if you feel like something negative was done where you overgave too many chances, you've been talking to somebody too many, you keep giving chance after chance, you feel like, okay, I'm waiting on them to tell me something, they keep me in the dark about something, but they won't tell me. Every time I talk to them, they're keeping me in the dark about something, they're not telling me what is it, what is it, what is it? And they're still not saying anything um, to you, right? Um, something about their energy comes across as depressed, uninspired, numb to life, those things and they're not telling you because again but you have this belief system you have a feeling about something you're trying to look at things through an objective lens this is uh virgo like just like that's when the moon moves through virgo to my moon moving through virgo but you're like okay something is not making any sense so you have to go to source that's what you believe in you believe in source it's like okay source what is going on what is going on so when you talk about enforcing boundaries the first about the first boundary somebody enforced was Somebody's not going to talk to you any kind of way. So you're in talking to energies. But that was somebody playing games. Somebody was being used as a pawn, play games. Okay, we can get them to stop talking. We can take that sword and split these energies and, have, and get them to stop talking to each other. So it was you and somebody that, some, that people were playing against each other. You just got to figure out who. <clears throat> to get you to stop talking to somebody, right? so when you're thinking about like negativity you think about like emotional trauma a stagnant lifestyle toxic food can you know tend to create resistance and like negative attunement for something source is trying to help somebody understand is like before you stop talking to someone, you can come right on and ask, what is going on? I'm giving you an opportunity to say what's going on before you close out that cycle. Give me an opportunity to speak up. Giving somebody an opportunity to speak up before they go into a David and Goliath situation. Before you go into a situation, right? So here we have the high priestess. But somebody was very, very stubborn. Somebody just could not see something until something bad happened. Something, some kind of dark event happened until they were in a situation where somebody was just determined to put them in so um yeah a leo put somebody who has taurus somewhere in their birth chart um it could be their sun sign their moon sign whatever in a situation that drove them crazy in other words <clears throat> the way that karma works karma is not good or bad it's whatever energy we put out into the universe comes back to us. So whatever goal somebody was trying to do to try to make you look crazy, the moment you, that's when I say how powerful air is, nothing can continue without air, spells, none of that, because you stop talking, words are spells, you stop talking, you stop communicating, something went back to, it was returned to sender. Something was returned to sender. So, um, moving forward, I see you're no longer 
something about your energy is you're no longer motivated or inspired. There's some energies that you're no longer motivated and inspired to even be around at this point. Because you don't know whether they operate in fear. That could be the devil operating in fear, confusion, whatever they are chained or scared of or whatever the situation is. You don't want to be bothered. In other words, you don't want to be bothered with energies who are who keep you in the dark about things. Stuff that they know and they keep you in the dark about things. But it keeps coming up in your reading a lot. It keeps coming up in your reading a lot, Aquarius. So whoever these energies are that like to keep you in the dark about things. And they're determined to keep you in the dark about things. Because somebody's hanging something over their head. And they don't want to tell you. So it's saying you're not playing games. No, the games for you, that's, that's over. <laughs> yeah, that's over. So good for you. Good for you, good for you, good for you. So yeah. Looking at your cards here. Whoever this energy is, um, like I said before, it's part of an organization. I see you thriving. I see you thriving. It wasn't meant for you to thrive. It was meant for you to lie down with 10 swords in your back. It wasn't meant for you and somebody to thrive at all. So continue praying for people who are, you know, operating in fear. When people try to separate you and people from talking to each other, there's a there's a game going on. They don't want you to talk to certain people. They don't want you to talk to certain people. So keep your vibrations high. So I definitely see you thriving, right? And I'm seeing um, some kind of apprenticeship happening here. So <clears throat> yeah, you don't. One of the things you're talking, even though people may be talking about certain things, this is going through the air and all of this other stuff. People are talking about. Um, you having some kind of a title but no authority or you know that you have some kind of a title and no authority people are run rumors and it's very hurtful you not only survived a lot of things of being called crazy you know you were being used as a pawn you moved on from shady energies who stabbed you in the back just a whole lot of hurt you've gone through aquarius looking at your cards here i'm seeing multiple streams of income so you can choose the income of all the hurtful things that were said about you behind your back or you can use the income of, okay, you have all of these ideas. This is opening up a book, going to school, you know, aiming for the stars. Just again, replacing any kind of worry with gratitude. You're so grateful that something is now behind you. You're not motivated to be around certain people anymore. And again, the very energies, Aquarius, that like I said before, did not, you did not authorize certain things and they were being they didn't even realize they were being used as a pawn they're going through exactly the same thing that you are the the energies the exact same thing that is why i talk about spell work on my channel spell work is very very damaging people don't even before they even know what the heck happened to them they keep sitting around listening to all this negative music you know, all this stuff on social media, just attacking people and they on a, they're going to frequency is just going low, 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 low. And all of it sounds like salacious gossip until they can't hear anything else on that frequency because it's just like everything is staticky on that frequency. They can't hear the things they pray for, nothing. That's why I sort of said, when you're at a crossroad, go high, go at a high frequency, high frequency. Because you already know who's behind what. You know exactly who's behind something. They're a wolf. You know exactly who's behind something. They're, at this point, you don't, you're not even confused as to who's behind something. It's somebody who was hurt because you started thriving when you moved on. You weren't as crazy as people thought you were. But that they put out into the universe. So you have a wealth of knowledge at this point. So something is a win-win for you. Something is a win-win for you. How are you going to be crazy when you didn't authorize something? Something was a setup. That was not, you know, like I said before, and go back through your mind, go back through, this is motive, go back through your memory and figure out what in the heck, you don't even have to break your brains trying to figure it out because to even try to get into the mind of a, of a predator, don't even try it, like for real. 
They prey on people's weakest moments. So, source is saying to you, toss something into a burning bowl and just be grateful that something is behind you. And just like I said, if you were disappointed, you know, um, you're about to have a breakthrough. You're about to have a breakthrough. Like I said, something is a win-win for you. There's some energies that want to come back into your life. There's nothing to talk about. You were dealing with uh, an old well, one in particular is older, but very emotionally immature. But you got some good news coming across your path, Aquarius. Be very careful. Like I said, when the moon is in Scorpio, when you watch this video, it may still be in Scorpio about to move into Sagittarius. Um, <clears throat> Sagittarius is ruling planet. Jupiter is currently retrograde. It's a planet of good luck, good fortune, what's on the horizon. See this person right here? They're looking on the horizon. They have a lot of ancestors around them, but they're looking on the horizon. They're like, okay, you're waiting, you're waiting for what's on the horizon, right? The breakthrough is going to come in is when you stop talking to people who have called you crazy. That is not funny. It's not cute. You know, these energies who are calling, they're not even qualified. And if they were mental health professionals, they wouldn't be saying that. And if they are, shame on them. Sword energy is sword energy speaks to power and intellect. So you could feel powerless because a loved one died and you didn't get a chance to say goodbye. And that's the game they want to play. So you already know how their karma is going to come back. You know, you don't even have to sit around and wait to even figure out what the motive is. The very thing they did to hurt you is coming back to them. So here we have the seven of wands. So source is saying to you, you and, um, you know, you and somebody, like I said before, will be moving forward. And just like I said, booked and busy, not burdened at all, just moving beyond something that just seemed like a major challenge. So I don't know who you and the somebody is. It could be you and a sibling. It could be you and whoever it is, but. This is not love. You gave some energies way too many chances and for them to hurt you. So no, that's not love at all. If that's their definition of love, you're just not the one. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And you don't have to even keep talking about how hurt you were or how disappointed and why would you do something like that and blah, 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 blah. Here's the Ace of, um, Ace of Swords here. Like I said, you got some good news coming across your path. But I don't think you're going to let somebody see sword energy. Let me just so we're crystal clear. Sword energy would not be like a person pulling out a sword. Not mod, not necessarily modern day to hurt you. <clears throat> Let's see. Once you talk about moving forward here. You see, the, when you start believing in yourself and you start feeling like, okay, you know, you have purpose on planet Earth, right? Um, sword energy today would be like somebody pricking you with a needle that's infected with something. That's how, that's how dark that could be. Sword energy cuts through your skin. So like I said, you got some good news coming across your path. You know, anything to keep somebody, keep somebody pulling you back to like pulling you backwards so when you look at moon energy that's energies is three types of energies that keeps people in the dark about things and say they love people but loving them hurts other people sources say but somehow you move forward and you started thriving and so somebody had to be used as a pawn somebody had a younger person had to be used as a pawn to do something to you aquarius so y'all need to think open your brains think what in the world could somebody have done to be used as a pawn to hurt you because if you were to say it and you were like well wait a minute that would make you sound like you were stone crazy out of your mind so that's why sources say you can journal it and say okay source is going to bring something to the surface eventually you don't have to run out here oh my god i can't believe they would do such and such that's why i always say Take only what resonates with you. This reading may not even resonate with you. It may resonate with your next door neighbor. It may resonate with a friend that says, I went, I can't even, if I told you what I just went through, you would think I was out of my mind. You would think I was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, right? 
I don't think you would think that. You would just sit there and go, okay, there's a safe space to talk. It stays between me and you. What is it? You can just go ahead and just share. And you would, like I said, give them, you know, give them your ear, like to listen or whatever. Um, some things are not as crazy as you want when people are trying to keep you connected to them in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Like I said, you're dealing with a wolf. And you have a wealth of knowledge about how they operate and how they use people as pawns to try to get to you. This would be a person who would try to get people to fight you, to try to get people to argue with you. That would get your whole family to turn against you, do all kinds of stuff because they're a wolf. They prey on that. They prey on people's pain. And say they love people. I really love. That would be like. I'm telling y'all. It would literally be like somebody saying. I really love that person. And we could have made something work. But somehow. They would never tell people. How they. Everything they did to you. Felt like it was a sword cut. They use anybody as a pawn. Anybody. So source is saying something is about to be a major win-win for you. You better wake up. They want to call you, but they haven't changed. You are an answer. Prayer, make room for a new blessing. Message from your ancestors. It's time to do a solar plexus chakra cleanse, but get focused. Somebody regrets lying to you. Create the change that you want. Close out the cycle in love. They're planning to disrupt your money backfire. Your peace is paramount. Prepare for an increase in pay. Something was trying to box in the way that you think. That would be equivalent to a person saying, well, this person, they're mentally unstable, so we need a power of attorney. We need somebody to control them. We need somebody to, they're creating something for them, so we need to, because people so wealth all over you, all Aquarius. This is King of Pentacles. Somebody so wealth all over you, multiple streams of income all over you. So who can we use as a pawn that could do something that could really make them look like they were just crazy? Let go and let God. Let's send it to enough people so everybody can say, oh my God, not them. They too smart for this. Catch anybody. That's why I always talk about not judging people. Catch anybody at their low point when you're talking about the loss of a loved one and a predator is there. Y'all have been way too nice. One yes for God is all you needed. Make a list of pros and cons. Time to do a throat chakra cleanse. The best is yet to come. Much, much better lies ahead. But don't cast your pearls before swine. Before people who won't appreciate them. The energies that did what they did to you, all Aquarius, and caught you at a time of grieving, that's sword energy where you felt powerless, um, where your heart was bleeding. That's what uh, sword energy does, connects you with heart chakra. You're trying to make a connection with energies. You're thinking, okay, this in, these energies would be compassionate towards you. They would, um, there would be some kind of equanimity. There would be some kind of connection there. Oh, wow, they're a human too. They're in human form. They'd be able to connect to that kind of pain, whatever it is, right? But that's not what they did. That is not what they did. Crazy? I think not. Preyed upon? Yes, absolutely. Yes, indeed. So I see you being able to defend your decision to move on from something without even coming across as defensive. It's nothing even to talk about. It's nothing to talk about. Somebody was absolutely determined to drive a wedge between you and loved ones, and loved ones took the bait. They took the bait. So talking directly to you, these are people that said they love you, your friends, family, all that. Keep your vibrations high, Aquarius, but close out cycles in love. Close off cycles in love. You you pulled enough swords out of your back. There's a the ten of, uh, ten of um, swords right there. See this person looking back? And that's what they can relate to, too. 
that's the sad part about it. They can relate to the same exact thing you can relate to, being talked about behind their back. People jump into conclusions, yet they did the same thing to you. Mm, mm, mm. Confused. That's what all this fire here. Fire is about confusion. They could have prayed for you and called you. Oh my God, guess what? Or if they were that confused, they could have prayed for you and said, well, let me, let's go together to get some help. Like if these energies did such and such to you, I, I got somebody who can help you with this. That's not what they did. They were too busy judging you for watching tarot. <laughs> or maybe you got a crystal ball in your house. Who knows? They were too busy judging you. They were too busy judging you on your spiritual beliefs. That's what this is. Too busy judging. Oh, well, maybe, you know, that's the reason why. Just the same. That's what this why all you got this air out here. That's why Pluto, Pluto being in Aquarius right now is going to bring a whole, it's going to wipe the slate clean for a whole lot of people who have not, who want people to treat them, you know, like connect, make the connection as human beings, but they're not connecting the dots them. So they still see you as competition, still, you know, in a bunch of confusion and chaos, all of that. The energies that did this are going to experience the same thing, the same exact thing. Watch. You watch. So you can move on. You can toss it into a burning bowl and move on. And they won't see it coming. They will not see it coming because you can never predict when a loved one is going to transition. You can never predict when a marriage is going to end. You can never predict when that friend is one day going to say, I don't want to be your friend anymore. <laughs> you know, you just, you never, you can't predict that. You can't predict that, right? So you can never predict if somebody, if you bring up, oh yeah, I was watching tarot one day and, and I saw such and such and they say, oh my God, you, you watch what? Oh no, <laughs> we can't be friends. Oh, no, I don't believe in that. That's devil worship. And somebody just stops instantly and don't want to talk to them anymore. They couldn't have predicted that. Whatever it is, they're not going to see it coming. Here's a death card. Mm -hmm. They're not going to see it coming. So like I said, something is a win-win for you. Something they're not going to see coming. But you did. Queen of Swords. Now take your blindfolds off. You're not indecisive about it. Be very clear. Be very, very clear. There's nothing else to talk about. You're not bitter. You're not angry. You're just aware. You don't, you're not even over giving this any time. It's just like, what? Somebody definitely treated you less than human. But again, like I said, you got some good news coming across your path, Aquarius. You got some real good news coming across your path. Real good news. Coming across your path. <laughs> yep. Yep, good news coming across your path. Something was definitely trying to give somebody, I don't know if it was trying to give you a nervous breakdown or somebody else a nervous breakdown or what in the world, but child. at this point, you have a wealth of knowledge about what energy you're dealing with. You have a, you have a, you're the subject matter expert. At this point, but affirmations for clarity. I am clear on my purpose. I'm here for a reason. I am worthy. I am valuable. I own my truth. I'm moving forward in the right direction. I know exactly what I need to do. I take action towards the things that matter. Yeah. Take action towards the things that matter. Move on from past disappointments. Move on from past disappointments. What do you need to release? Yeah, what do you need to release? Yeah, what do you need? What do you need to release? What do you need to release? 
I think part of it, looking at your cards here, Aquarius, and again, take only what resonates with you, is just the overthinking piece. I think I've, after so many times you give people so many chances, people really do start to wonder. Like they, I don't, I don't know why people equate having a big heart with not being smart. So I don't want somebody to be like, oh, you know, I got to be like them. No, you don't. No, you don't. You just got to stop overthinking something. Somebody just has to overstop thinking. You're just like, you know what? I can just pray for people. Like I can stop talking to people, but I just need to pray for people. Because I, yeah. Awakening. Oh, my Lord, wake me from life as a spiritual sheep. May I hear you through my own instincts and common sense. Yeah, some kind of an awakening is happening here. Yeah, you're dealing with three energies who like to keep people in the dark about stuff. And the way that they, they if, if you're moving on, whoever tries to leave after giving them so many chances, it's almost like, okay, this person, is, they're starting to wake up. They're starting to smarten up. Like, oh, no, we got to do something to keep them back here. Like, keep them connected somehow, somehow connected to something. So, um, yeah. I don't think something is going to be really shocking to you all, Aquarius. I don't know what it is, but I don't think it's going to be shocking. Maybe disappointing, but just not. I don't think it's something. You know, each day I work on the appropriate task to push the needle forward. I'm surrounded by peers who support, encourage, and inspire me to get to the next level. Yeah. Some people spend a lot of time, 3 and 8 is 11, right? <clears throat> 11 is like, like I said, getting off the fence and taking some kind of action. So somebody is taking some, you know, two types of energies now want to take some kind of action. Um, and so make sure you're journaling your dreams, your downloads. Make sure you're taking journaling your dreams and downloads. And that's all I will say, you know, in your readings, Aquarius, is that, ooh, there's a lot more information that comes through. But again, it's a general reading, and I don't want anybody to get paranoid. I don't want anybody to get like, oh my God, what is it? it like I said, it may not even apply, it may not even resonate with you. It could be literally a friend that is coming to you, asking you for advice, and you could be telling them, hey, you really need to... You need to release certain types of people. Some people have, like I said, they haven't given you the cold shoulder. They have, these are energies. They feel like they got the weight of the world on their shoulder. They are on plain old ice cold vein, like ice cold ice running through their veins. And so source is saying, you need to toss confusion into the burning bowl. You need to toss confusion into the burning bowl. For them, it is literally all about money. It's about money. And then we talk about flow. That's why you want to listen to your water sounds while you're, you know, you're an air sound, but you're a water bearer. And we see two water right here. It's all about the flow of money for them. You know, it's like, that's it. If it's not about flow of money for them, yeah, 13, you're going through a rebirth, right? So I am confident. You are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. 13. As you continue to work steadily towards your goals. Yeah. Clearly, looking at your cards here, somebody said if you're not on their team, they are going to humiliate you. So, don't know who that's for. But, yep, so I released the past. Today I walk towards perfect health. I am grateful for my life. I'm alive, well, and thriving. I am blessed with an abundance of energy. My body is recovering in every way. This is health, right? Yeah, so. Mind, body, and spirit. Your health is important. Your health is really, really important, Aquarius, though. Health checkup. Health checkup. Mm -mm. Yep, Aquarius. You're about to find out some information. Somebody's about, I don't know, again, take it on, take only resonation, but you're about to find out some information about something. And um, 
you will be able to defend your decision. You, if you weren't, if you were unclear before, you are going to be so crystal clear now because things are so your memory. Things are starting to come back to your memory, and you're asking motive like why? Why would they do that? Why? Who is they? I don't know who they is for somebody, but why would they do that? Like what? What? It just doesn't even make any sense. The, why would you try to stop anybody from thriving? Why, why would you stop that? Why would you... And you say you love them. Why would you do that? But what's worse is the ones who believed it. That's what's worse. So. All right. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. Let's close it out. So hopefully that was clear to somebody. Hopefully it was clear to somebody, but um, yeah. Something was definitely um, trying to tie you to some things, Aquarius, trying to, um, you know, keep you. Here's the four of, um, four of, like trying to disrupt your rest, right? So it's now you'll be getting some rest. You're getting some rest. You have um, you have your ancestors around. You have a lot of ancestors around you actually helping you on your journey, and you do have a loved one who transitioned over. That's helping you to move on um, from something, and they're telling you that there it's like it's. I don't know if you somebody's been hearing something, but like you know, I'm not trying to make somebody feel like they just hearing voices, right? So again, right. So if you are, keep that to yourself. Just journal about it. If you are, you know, messages come through so many different ways. I mean, it can come through your dreams. It can come through a reading, whether it's mine or somebody else's reading. It could just literally seem like, wow, something is speaking to your situation and people don't even know you. They don't even know they're even talking about your situation, right? That's why I say it may not, it could, your next door neighbor could tell you something and you're like, oh, that's a great idea. They had no idea. They could, you could be looking for a job and they could be talking about just, they can take just having a random conversation. Could be telling you about a job that you they didn't even realize you just finished finished praying like source. I really wish I could find a job, you know, and I wish I could find something for working remotely. You stand outside talking to your neighbor, next thing you know, they talking about a job that's hiring remotely, and you like what? It can happen like that. So, but source constantly is putting things to, like sending information to you. Take heed. Slow down for a minute. And follow sources instruction because you're being got you have a spirit guide that's guiding you through your journey right so then when things come up and people are saying certain things you're like mm -mm. it's not and it's not coincidental it's not coincidental right tower moment it's not coincidental you're almost gonna be like oh my god like like that's that's what the an awakening feels like I just had a thought about something and I'm so glad I slowed down for a minute and actually took some kind of action. Like, oh my goodness. So, yeah. Yeah. That was the beauty of somebody spending a lot of time by themselves. A lot of times by yourselves, right? Here's the four of wands here. So somebody has a new love coming across their path. New love could be gardening. If so, that's for somebody. It's not always a person, just so we're crystal clear. New love could be gardening, if that's something that you like to do. It could be, I don't know, some form of exercise. I don't know. But um, yeah, somebody is definitely making these are this this is a this is a whole organization behind this, making a lot of really horrible um comments about you you know aquarius unfortunately and um it, I, it almost sounds redundant i don't like to keep giving the same readings so if you're new to my channel welcome coming back welcome back i don't like to keep giving the same readings you're divinely protected this is what the um, tower moment is you're divinely protected but 
somebody gives people way too many chances like the overthinking part like if source tells you to leave people behind if you've moved on and started believing in your dreams be obedient just be obedient don't talk about them anymore don't talk to them don't entertain their company and I'm talking about even certain loved ones until you can get your feet planted on solid ground and you can say, OK, yes, I've been working on something now I can invite people, you know, to whatever. But while you're trying to build, this is with this um, Ten of Wands, just. Yeah, so something is going something is going, going to go very well for you, all Aquarius, but it just let it run. It's, it's just going to run its course. It, it's, it's just going to run its course. It's going to run its course. Yeah. Mm hmm so yep we all know who's behind it all yep we all know who's behind it all somebody that you stop talking to some energies that you stop talking to that just decided okay we got something for them we got something for Aquarius we have the daughter of coins right so But here's the thing, Aquarius, that your your spirit gives off prosperity. You have a very prosperous and abundant spirit. I don't know who I'm talking to. This is the king of pentacles here. And because your energy gives off big hearted, you love deep, you love hard, and you're very prosperous energy. That same wolf, see wolves have two characters, this is the light and dark side to all energy, right? So I hope somebody can follow me with what I'm saying. The same energy, the dark side of that energy, source sent a light side of that energy into your life to tell you what the dark side did. You don't even have to get the other one involved. Source already took care of it. Source already took care of it. You all have put so much good energy out into the universe. It's coming back to you. It's, it's coming back. That's what I'm trying to tell somebody. It's coming back to you in ways that you you can't. You won't even be able to see. That's why you can just move on now from the disappointment. When that moon, the moon is in Scorpio, you can go ahead and toss whatever letter that you write into a burning bowl and say, "Source, you're making peace with you know whoever you know whatever in your past, right? Because they're cold. They are cold. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like." Woo chow, cold, 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 like, like ice running through the vein, cold, right? So source is saying it's all, it's whatever, it's whatever, it's whatever. But that is what I have for you. I will see you all um, in the next video. I'll see you all in the next video, Aquarius. All right, bye.